and 91 years young, Michael Turnicliffe is the oldest competitor in the 2023 Masters Swimming Championships. I've been swimming at Masters Games for about the last 30 years. My best result was last year. I set a New Zealand record for 90 plus in the 50 metre breaststroke and the 100 metre breaststroke. Very proud of those. Michael's swimming journey started in 1942 when he was 10. Growing up in Fielding, I, I learned to swim in the Aurora River and loved it in 1970. At that time, Fielding had an indoor an outdoor pool, which was open four months of the year, and there was nothing for the rest of the year. And I was swimming some years around 300 kilometers in the four month season. While he was in his 40s, Michael was swimming up to 20 kilometers a week. 50 years later, he still swims regularly. I swim three times a week. Competitions just make it that much more interesting. And also we meet people from around the country as we travel. Amazingly, Michael is not alone in the 90 and plus age group. 90 years old Janet Barker is competing too. My mother used to take me from our house in Napier in the push tier up to the swimming pool on the parade in Napier. And that's where I began swimming and did all my training. And then I did nothing competitively for about 30 years while I had my family. And then I got back into master swimming. A Napier resident, Jalait is very excited to be attending a nationwide champs in her backyard. It's wonderful. It opened last year, and because it's positioned between Napier and Hastings, it's a really good place for it to be. We need other pools for families so they can just go along with their concession ticket and get a swim. But we, we need a pool like this for events like this and other national ones. As well as swimming in the pool, Janet also enjoys the challenge of open water swimming. At the moment I'm keeping fit to go to a swimming event in Fiji in August and it's an ocean swim. And you do three swims, it's going to be fun. For this Masters, swimming is about much more than the competition. It's about keeping fit and staying young. You know, you can cycle for a long time, you can play golf for a long time, but you can swim for longer because of the health of the water. With the um, buoyancy of the water, people who have knee problems and so on, you can walk in the pool. I have achy joints. A couple of years ago, I was walking a kilometre and a half a day, but I find that very difficult now. And I, I have a mild heart condition which doesn't allow me to do anything with my hands up, but horizontally in the pool is very good for me. I'm from Levin. I've lived here since 2004, and I've been swimming since 1990s. I had a knee replacement 18 months ago, so this has been really good for it. Getting back in the water, you know, and, and training. It's a good thing, and meeting people. Yeah, so what's your goal in your swimming career? Um, just to keep swimming and do personal bets. At my age, I can't do much more. 140 competitors came from all over New Zealand to attend the three-day event. I'd say the highlights, just the opportunity to host this event again, first time in four years. So prior to COVID was the last time New Zealand Masters where I was able to hold a long course championship. It's actually the first year that we've made a few changes. Um, you're actually able to enter this championship if you're 18 or, and above. Um, you don't need to achieve a qualifying time. You don't need to be a member of a club. Uh, we're really focused on just getting the opportunity for people to be able to participate across the winter months or the cooler months of the year. Some New Zealand records were broken in the competition, including 800 meters and 1,500 meters mixed freestyle. Hawkesbury's Regional Aquatic Centre is bringing more and more national competitions to the region. 
This new facility will be making a huge splash. This is actually the second event that we've been able to host at this brand new Hawke's Bay Regional Aquatic Centre. Uh, we're really excited to be able to host uh, events, particularly national events at this facility. It's great for hosting events. It's got a lot of rooms alongside. It's good. It's a great fast pool. And we've also got a couple more events coming up in the next 12 months. We're looking forward to that. Probably the biggest one being the Olympic and Paralympic trials at the uh, 2024 Apollo Projects New Zealand Swimming Championships next year. So I think it's a great opportunity for all the locals to come down as well to cheer on our team making going to the Olympics and the Paralympics. Jay Pong, local focus.